Hi y'all. I am doing this reading today um, really for everyone. I am not um, concentrating on one sign. I'm just, um, you know, I just know who's ever going to, whoever is meant to see it will see it. And um, so it's for all signs. It's for everyone. And, and it's to help you um, during this time. You know, the world is, <clears throat> it show, you know, this coronavirus is showing how we're all connected. Number one, right? It's, it's, it's a global um, thing right now. So. But this is this reading's not going to be about that. I just put two readings out yesterday. Well, one yesterday and one the day before that um, really had some great messages in it. But this is about um, I don't know. It's it's just messages that people, certain people, are going to need to hear out there, want to hear out there. Um, put your intention in, you know, uh, what you want to hear and. Um, I'm leaving it completely open, so it's for no signs. Let me shuffle. We are going to use the good tarot to, to begin. You can hear someone revving up, revving up their uh, motorcycle. They're like, finally. Okay, guys. I want you just all to take a couple deep breaths. <sighs> You're just going to relax your mind. Hmm. Don't worry about even, you know, it's like, don't even worry about what your question is. I feel like your guides um, beat you here anyway. You know what I mean? Like they're, they have, they're working with my guides and, you know, they probably laugh at us thinking, well, we just, we're just now realizing that they're going to come to this, this crossroad. Like, you know what I mean? Um, so... I feel like it's more about letting go um, because I feel when we do that, we get our answers. We get answered, right? People are like, ah, you know, I never get the answers. Well, they're saying you got to, you got to release, you got to let go, right? You just got to let go. I'm not saying don't have any expectations in your life, but what I'm saying is, man, when you just roll with, when you just roll with the punches, right? When you just roll with it, um, no matter where you're at on the so-called totem pole, right? Life just feels, just feels good, feels right, that type of thing. Okay. Anyway, I was going to cut the cards. Again. You know, this may tell someone's story, um, but if it tells a story, there are many versions of that, you know, because I don't feel like, first of all, my guide would, not that it would be a waste of time just to tell a person's story, um, but there's something within it. For all of us, right? Uh, otherwise, we just wouldn't be here. So, we begin with the Nine of Swords. So, you know, this is kind of be, to be expected. This is about worry. Um, you know, this is about the kind of worry where maybe you feel out of control. Like, like you know, there's not... I, I'm worried because there's not much I can do. I feel like that that's wrong. Um, because the Nine of Swords is also about excess worry, um, driving yourself a little crazy, you know, this may be you're paying too much attention to the news, and listen, it's all about being informed, but you got to find the balance in that, right, 
no matter what the storm, you've got to find your center. And that's really the answer. No matter what the storm is that's around you, you have to find your center. And that is where, you know, that's where you're going to perform. That's where you're going to get through. Um, you know what I mean? That's where you excel. That's where, like, epiphanies come and you're like, well, I never thought of that. And you follow that and, you know, it, it can be life-changing, right? When we allow it to be in the energy of fear, well, that's resistance. It's the opposite, right? That's resistance. That is saying, I'm not good enough. I'm not going to be able to do it. Um, you know, whatever's going on is going to get me... I'm doomed, I'm doomed, um, you know, and, and listen, it, we, we got to remember it's swords too, and although this card doesn't show it, many, many decks out there show the swords coming towards this person, so, you know, duck, like, I feel like she can duck if she wants to, um, so she sees them. You know, like, just picture that in your mind, you know, you have nine swords that are flying towards you, almost in a formation, and uh, you got time to step out of the way. What are you going to do? So, I feel like, I feel like the nine of swords just coming out right away to say, you know, you have to make a decision here, right? You know, there's no sugarcoating, it's like, you know, you have to you have to make a decision. Let's see what comes next to it. And I don't know why all of a sudden I'm saying a decision. So look at that. We have the Ten of Swords. You know, that to me is like throwing in the towel. Look at that. The Nine that goes in the Ten of Swords. No wonder I'm doing this reading. You know, so this is saying, you know, there's a lot of people living in their heads right now. Um, and, you know, there's, it's just the way it is. It's just the way it, it, it is, you know, and it's showing that, you know, if it's not taken under control, because the Nine of Swords, I can control that energy, right? Again, I can step out of the way, because what it's saying to us is a lot of what you're worrying about isn't even going to happen, you know? Or, let me put it a different way, like, you don't, like, we don't want to create that, right? We don't want to, we all don't, if we're all fearful, then we're putting all this fear into the universe, and um, that's a negative, that's a negative reaction, so, you know, we need to kind of switch it around, and, and it's not about love, it's about, I don't know, it's about power, like, if, like, you know, like, we see things that are going on, or we hear things in the news that are going on, and we're doing nothing. We're just feeling like, oh my God, it's going to get me, but we're not calling, let's say, our governor and saying, what are you doing to protect me? You know, like, these taxes I pay, you remember? What are you doing to protect me? Right? Like, your life counts. Um, and I'm not saying there's going to be that need, but what it's saying is, you know, there are, there are a lot of ways. This isn't about a battle. It's about speaking, right? What, what are swords about? The truth. If, if When they're in their light, they're, they, they are the truth. So, let's remember, Nine of Swords, again, we, we can stop that by, well, we already know that, by centering ourselves. We center ourselves, and I feel like, then we don't have to worry about the Ten of Swords. You know, the Ten of Swords can be talking about the rest of the world. Um, but it doesn't matter what's happening in, in the rest of the world. It's what, You've got to learn to center yourself. Right? So most like, um, especially if you're a light worker, like, you, you know, listen. You know how to do this. You've done this before. You know, it's like now I want to scold, scold you because, and when I scold you, I'm scolding me. Um, but I want to say that, like, you know, how you, you've done this before. You've done this before. So there's all this worry. It's wasted. Okay, let's keep going. We have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is, you know, that's the energy of making choices. Shit, what am I going to do? What, you know, which, what can I do? Which way should I go? 
you know, I give to an organization, or do these, are they going to steal them, my money? I don't have that much money. You know, um, you know, e e even if it's whatever it's talking about, if it's a love story, it's saying, you know, I, I'm not sure which way to choose. You know, I have to feel like in the Seven of Cups, like sometimes I've had a few glasses of wine, and I'm trying to make a decision over a few glasses of wine, and I must sound like I'm having wine, and I don't even drink, um, but it's, and what do I mean by that? Almost like it's being influenced, right? Um, I'm not coming from a clear mind when I'm looking at whatever these choices are, these things that I'm thinking, with all these swords, what am I thinking? If I can center myself, whatever's in this Seven of Cups, the choice that I have to make, it's illuminated. You know, it's illuminated. It's like the rest just kind of drop by the side. Well, we have one more card. We have the Eight of Wands. So this is pretty quick movement. This is also the energy to me. I'm sorry, it's the Three of Wands. Well, wow. so that's a movement. I'm going to take the word quick. But it's movement, and it's also optimism, is what it is. It's looking forward. Um, it's the beginning, right? It's the beginning. And it's a very optim. you know, I, I love the energy because it's the opposite of what we open with. This is belief. Like, I believe that there's something, I don't know, something out there, something better, something, something meant to be. Let's keep going. You know, and she's leaning her own ship. Good. So we got the chariot. Number seven. Number seven. So number seven is a spiritual number. You have two sevens now. You know, that, that number one, it's saying you're not walking alone. You have a lot of spiritual help that's around you. Right? That I'm seeing at three almost as you being surrounded by um, spiritual help. It's much different than this nine and ten of swords. Nine and ten of swords, I'm lucky. If, you know, I don't know, like, there's not a lot of spirituality in there. Um, or I should put it another way. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. And then, therefore, I have to make decisions based out of that type of energy. And there is nothing illuminated to me. Right? Nothing illuminated to me. And then you think about the sevens and it's like, well, you're not thinking about your spirituality. Maybe that's what they mean when, and you know what? I hate that I just said they, because when other people say that, like they, I always think to myself, well, who are they? <laughs> who are they? I mean, um, I mean spirit. And it's like land or sea, we have you. Right, but you got to believe that. And I think believing that is what put you into the three of wands energy and that's optimism that's you know that's looking forward to the future no matter what is behind it right it's not about what's behind it you know it's surviving it's fire that's surviving it number one that's action number two And it moves into the chariot. It's funny how there's two horses here, but one of the horses is looking, looking down. It's weird because I almost feel like this horse is regretting something, and it's not, as, it's not feeling as strong as the other horse. So it's kind of, I don't want to say it's lagging because it's 
They're like, okay, I'm doing my job, but I don't know. But it seems to only be affecting the horse and nothing and no one around it. So that could be talking about this nine of swords, right? This worry is only affecting you. And, you know, not about what it is you're worrying about. It's like, it's not having any effect. It's, it's, it's making you lag. I don't know. Let's keep going. We have the king of air swords. Wow, he's coming right under the ten of swords. Man. We have the Seven of Pentacles coming right under the Seven of Cups. Well, hello. You know, uh, with the Chariot right over here, number seven. Again, it's that energy of land or water. Not land or water, but land and water. Like, land and water. It's weird. I had something like that in a reading. Hmm. Okay. Seven of Pentacles to me is, is definitely a card of destiny. I feel like it, what it talks about, you know, sometimes it can talk about karmic karma. And what is karma? Karma is future action, right? It's future, it's the most predictable. Um, it's the most predicting your future based on your, let's say, current actions, right? Um, so, you know, when someone says you can create your own life, well, that's just so absolutely true, right? Because if I'm saying, if I'm staying centered and based within the storm, um, I'm not creating karma. Right? I'm not creating anything I'm going to have to deal with later, and I'm going to have to deal with it. Right? And I'll deal with it then. I'll deal with it soon. You know, I'll deal with it. it you know, it'll come in a different way. Um, but it'll be a little tougher. So, anyway, I feel like, um, you know, I feel like our souls already know this. So, this isn't like, <gasps> what? It's like, soul-wise, we already know this. So, Seven of Pentacles, I feel like, certain experiences that I want in this lifetime, right? I could have planted this whenever, you know, when I was, uh, before I, before I became this human body and I could, you know, and I could have had my say it as, as to what type of things I want to happen and what type of lessons I want to learn. What do I want to gain, right? What do I want to gain? And then what do I want to teach when I go home, I guess. Um, so I feel like when the seeds come up, and listen, the only way the seeds come up in the Seven Pentacles are by nurturing them. Right? Not, um, not like, when is it coming with the Nine of Swords energy? You know, that's just like worry, worry, worry. Look at Seven of Cups above the Seven Pentacles. It's almost like it's just... You know, it's giving the Seven of Pentacles a drink of water, right? It's, um, yeah, and then the Seven of Pentacles is looking right at this King of Swords. King of Swords is attached to the Ten of Swords. So, and even the way the Seven of Pentacles is looking at this King of Swords is not in a, uh, Mm, it's good to see you. It's in a almost like, what are you doing? What do you think you're doing? You know, almost a re uh, like a remembrance of, you know, this was this was not written. You know, you're acting out of character, something like that. I feel like he's, um, yeah. But for some reason, this King of Swords seems to turn to like almost ice. Like he feels like ice. Um, but he's ever in his Seven of Pentacles energy, which I feel is you. 
right? It's just the other side of you. You know, this is warmth. This is, and I feel like that's part of the power. Um, like, you know, the Seven of Pentacles can melt that shield that this king, which can be a queen, by the way, um, has built, right? I can just, I can melt it right down if I wanted to. If I wanted to. If I wanted to. So I, I always feel like for someone, too, the Seven of Pentacles is the same. You've been in a very karmic time. You've been in a very karmic time, and, and you're leaving that time. But what you have to do is that shield has to come down. And I do feel like this King of Swords, whoever, is, whoever that represents, by the way, the King of Swords, when um, the way the Seven of Pentacles energy, I almost feel like it's the Guardian Angel, would speak to this King of Swords is say, you know, wouldn't demand that that shield come down. Um, it would remind him, you know, it would remind him of who he is and and the potential where he, he's going, right? There's something about, like, get out of your head. I don't know. I feel like I was going to say something else. We have the Ace of Swords. So, I mean, you know, no matter what, that's good news because that's the truth. Right? That's the truth. Um, to me, it's also a yes. A yes card. You know, could she be talking about me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, is she talking about Sally? Um, yes. You know. Um, but listen, it's, it's sitting right below... An energy of optimism. So there's nothing to fear here, right? Especially with the Seven of Pentacles right beside there. It's like, you know, it's like, here's this, the person in the Seven of Pentacles, your, your guardian angel, let's say, is saying, listen, you have built such a shield of ice that it, it, this human world has found impossible to get through that, right? But I... I can just blow on you and that ice will come down. And this is, it's almost like, you know, your true self. And I know it seems like, I don't know, I'm just going to say, it feels like your true self, right? Your true self. And then what follows that is the Ace of Swords, right? So it's like being my authentic self. And what's it attached to? Optimism, you're right. And now the Chariot. You know, we have the chariot over here, and, uh, you know, I'm looking at the horse, and the horse that, whose head's down is at this king of swords. Not looking at him, but almost bowing to him. It's almost like someone being paid, like this horse was paid off to not perform. Um, but I just feel like there's, like, listen... Do you, do you want to create karma here? Or, you know, do you want to fly? Anyway, let's keep going. We have the Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So this is at least looking for the truth. Um, let's use the Cosmic Tarot. Um, mainly because I just like the way it feels with my hand. And my hands have been sore lately. And I was cleaning, and, and, you know, my God, I used to bite my fingernails. It just amazes me. I used to, like, do nothing but bite my fingernails. And now, it's like, I grow them, I nurture them, I paint them. I, you know, I think I always want my nails to look good when I'm doing a reading. But since I moved, I've been cleaning in that, and, like, they broke. But, and I'm, you know, it hurts. Even though... It broke where uh, I man, I used to bite way below that, so I don't know, but I feel it. But the one thing I know is it'll grow back, so okay. All right, we're gonna start with those swords. 
one more shuffle. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to see what's going on. You know, I'm noticing a lot of white, like the white, white feathers coming down. I see like doves. Um, flying around, you know, it's almost like, I don't know, like, uh, it seems like a pretty nice atmosphere, if I was going to say, in this card, anyways, like, I don't see why this feels enticing, or why this feels bad at all, if I, if I forgot that it was the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords. <clears throat> however, however, You know, I hate to say this, but it reminds me of, like, the, um, you know, I did grow up in the um, 70s, and, um, you know, I don't know, everybody was tripping, and I, I, I don't know who's, uh, I don't know if my daughter's listening, but, uh, you know, anyway, um, it does what it remind me of, that type of energy, like, like, not, uh, like, I feel induced, and... I'm not realizing the energy I'm putting myself in. Anyway, maybe I do this because I don't want to hear. You know, maybe this King of Swords is something, someone who just screams and yells and, right? And I don't want to hear it. So I self induce myself. Uh, some of you, maybe you drink, because it's funny, as I go in a reading, I can find, I can see a lot of things happening, right? Um, but I do, I feel like, I feel like for some of you, maybe it's like drinking, some type of drinking, like daytime drinking, or there's a lot to get through right now, right? And maybe that three of wands means you feeling good, right? You feeling good. But what it's saying is... You know, that nine and ten of swords still exist, even though you do feel good. It still exists. And again, I feel like it's an escapism because, you know, the chariot on one side of the seven of pentacles on the other side, and they're both kind of looking this direction. So, one I feel like is saying, you know, what are you doing? I feel like Seven of Pentacles is actually bringing in, um, I don't know, you know, I'm thinking of the horse over here, but then I'm seeing this horse, like, flying, and, uh, it feels like freedom, uh, and it's coming. Three of Wands means is a good thing. Okay. Okay, I gotta keep my attention. Let's look at... So, we have Judgment. We have Judgment coming over the Nine of Swords. That's weird because, you know, it almost makes me feel like you think you deserve what you're going through. But you don't. Judgment says that if you think like that, you're thinking the wrong way, right? Now we have the Seven of Cups again. I have a, I have a feeling a few of you um, being in some tough times, and I feel like you want to, you do, I feel like you have the desire to make some changes. I do. Like, I feel like you have these desires. Right, because I feel like, you know, if I'm, even if I'm, like, in a way self-sabotaging myself, but it makes me feel good, I still realize that. It's almost like saying, it doesn't allow me, almost the Seven of Pentacles is saying, this is not your best life. Right, this is not your best life. Um, of course it is yours to make, right, this King, king of um, Swords, I don't know. Anyway, let's keep going. Right, judgment asks for a rebirth. Judgment is a call to attention. Like, hello. Okay. 
Okay, I don't know. I'm going to keep them the way they, are, way they came. So we have the Four Swords. The Four Swords, you know, that's the energy. It's almost the energy. I have to say, I have a feeling that someone here, you know, almost feels like it just, they deserve. They deserve. Um, the life that they have. Right? But I also feel that some are self-sabotaging because soul, you know, the soul deep, it's not what they want. Because now we have the four swords, and I feel like I'm feeling that as almost like a, a lack of belief. A lack of belief. Maybe I've been doing, you maybe I've been living like this for so long, has been this way so long, like, um, and you're asking me to believe? Right. It's kind of what it feels like. I'm not feeling any healing, right? But in the same time, same breath, judgment comes out, right, very strongly. Um, you know, you don't match up against this type of energy. And, and she is saying, he, you know, but you're not being aware. And there's the Seven of Cups right beside it. For some of you, it is drinking. Sorry. Um, and, you know, it's not that, listen, you can have whatever life you want, right? But the Seven of Pentacles feels like it's saying no. Well, not no, but, like, you have a different life. You had a different life plan. Anyway. Judgment saying, you know, all I'm all I'm here for is to say, I want you to be aware. I want you to be aware of your decision, period. You know, Page of Swords, I feel like is someone, uh, you know, I feel like someone who would, um, you know, who get grounded but jump out the window. Reminds me of my daughter, right? Like, you're grounded, so, you know, they close their bedroom door and they open up their bedroom window and boop. I don't know why I'm, I'm even saying that right now. It's weird. But I feel like it's this type of energy. is, um, But not because she's bad. Because she's a page. Um, but but this page, like, you know, what does, again, she's a sword. She wants the truth, right? She wants to be her authentic self. Right? She wants to be her authentic self. I want to be who you say I should be. Boy, I do feel like she's kind of a teenager, or like back talking me, but but one hundred percent right. And I don't know. And for some of you, judgment saying, you know, that is who you're meant to be, not who you pretend to be or what you're accepting, right? You know. And still, I got to get down to this king and see what is this king's involvement. But I have to be honest. I feel like it's talking more about you guys, and um to different extremes. But I feel like they're, uh, you know, back to the four swords, I feel like you have a little bit of lack of belief there, right? Or, you know, you're, you know, you're not, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I'm looking at the four and the four is upside down. I'm like, well, there goes the foundation. You know, it's not built on a, found, on a solid foundation, that's for sure. What's next? Prince of Wands. This could be someone who's acting immature. This could be someone who normally um, is a go-getter, has decided, uh-uh, I'm done, I don't want to. This is someone, um, listen, in, for some of you, this, this, this person could certainly be drinking, drinking much more than normal. Um, and, you know, Maybe not even seeing it. Um, or uh, I see many different versions there. You know, not, not, I don't want to say I don't realize it because I just feel like the Prince of Wands would realize it. Prince of Wands is normally very active, right? Very like, I have a goal and I'm going to get it, right? Um, ambitious, but not here, right? And, 
it feels like it's a lack of his belief, lack of himself. I don't know, because I feel, again, I feel a lot of people being influenced in different ways as I keep going. We had the death card. Now, this is in the upright. So, if there's seven of card, oh, that's weird. Just made me think of my son, who, um, you know, if I'm going to be honest, was, well, you know, he's an alcoholic. And he passed away. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen. I do think that someone's meant to hear this today, though. That is what I'm going to say. Let's keep going. We have the Seven of Wands beside that. I am feeling that people are trying to tell this prince, you know, listen, listen. You know, we get it, but, you know, it's almost like they're saying, but listen, this is, you know, what you think this is going to happen, but what's really going to happen is his death card, right? We're going to lose you. Because they have to... These people seem to have to defend what they're feeling, right? And what they're trying to portray is a sense of optimism, um, but but multiplied, right? And when but when I'm saying optimism, I'm also saying you know maybe like tough love, right? That type of thing. And I think I definitely feel like somebody's drinking more than they should, and they're affecting other people. Particularly, I have a feeling um, if they're partnered, that their partner is in this nine and ten sword. Is the one who, you know, is feeling it. Okay, let's keep going. We have the Princess of Wands. Well, there you go. Right there is the partner to the Princess, the Prince of Wands. It uh, doesn't matter what sign doesn't matter male or female this can be you know same sex you know you know the Jew so she's coming over the chariot so there you go she's thinking of leaving hmm she's thinking of leaving that's a decision she's trying to make within the seven of cups do I stay or do I go uh, you know it's almost like I, I don't see any hope over here right but but it seems like they're still, um, you know, still something. Anyway, though, let's jump over to the Princess of Wand. Um, again, a go-getter, like, you know, I was only going to stay in the t nine and ten swords for so long, and then, you know, she's someone, she's someone who trusts her intuition, to be honest. She's someone who not only trusts her intuition, but moves moves with it you know i mean i am a princess a princess excuse me i'm a queen of pentacles however um many times not many times but a few times i felt like the princess of wands right i knew i had to take on her energy to um to even be where i'm at today right i had to because you know I love what, you know, I think in 59 years old, what the hell do I really want to, or anyway, long story short, I did it. And, um, I've done things like that all my life. Anyway, and that's, that's what I feel is the Princess of Wands energy. I feel like she's sitting in the chariot. Um, hmm. You know, almost feeling bad about it, though. I feel like, I kind of feel like that's the way that horse is down. You know, um, I'm going to do it, right? I know it's the right thing to do, but but I still have a little empathy here, I feel. We have these six of pentacles. Man, I just need more balance in my life. Look at this. Attached to the king of wands, but in reverse. Interesting. Prince of Wands, now the King of Wands. Nine of Swords, then the Ten of Swords. Does that mean I've been doing this what feels like forever? Right? Started when we were this age and now I'm um, this age. However, 
I'm still princess down here. Maybe, you know, almost feeling, a, I, I feel that age. Maybe it's just for the prince. I don't know, because I have the princess. I mean, let's keep going. So anyway, King of Wands is um, attached to King of Swords. So maybe someone is showing no emotion. No ambition. No, you know, like next to Six of Pentacles, even though it is a, um, it's over the chariot. And the Princess of Wands is recognizing it, like, oh, I'll take it. But the King of Wands seems to be, because he's over this King of Swords, and it feels like a shield of ice, um, I feel like King of Wands, like, has no interest of whatsoever in that Six of Pentacles. Giving or sharing, like, psh, I'm not even thinking about that crap. Excuse my language. My language, I didn't even swear. Okay, your cards seem to be flipping. Alright, we have the hangman. So the hangman is, you know, it's a couple different things. Let's look at it, what's around it. Hangman is, uh, first thing I'm seeing is attached to seven of pentacles. That's a seed of intention, right? What I feel is the prince, the princess of wand over the here is feeling, right? The seed of intention that. Listen, when I'm nurturing a seed of intention, maybe I, I mean, maybe there's zero awareness of that, right? Maybe that happened then, whenever then is, right? It's just like they. Anyway, the hangman is about seeking wisdom, the right thing to do, right? Um, you know, the biggest problem with the hangman sometimes is the amount of time it takes before I feel like I've gained the wisdom I need to then move forward, right? Coming next to this King of Wands in reverse, also touching the Prince of Wands, so definitely, you know, there you go there, touching uh, the Four Swords in reverse. You know, so part of figuring it out is figuring, you know, here, I don't know, it's just like, someone's got, you know, like, this Prince of Wands got to believe in himself, right? You've got to find his own peace. Um, but, but, somebody up here in the, in the Nine and Ten of Swords, and I'm sorry, I hope you guys are okay that I'm not, like, ex explaining over and over again, but, it, but I can't. Um, you know, the people in the Nine and Ten of Swords, who maybe in some way, you are connected to this Prince who may not be the king, right? I mean, I've been here. I've been, you know, I must look at this. I must buy, buy this person's side. But this person has no interest in, you know, giving or receiving. Princess of Wands, though, she's feeling different. Like, to me, she's standing out. You know, she's directly over this chariot where... These kings are not. Now, that doesn't give them, like, you know, shame on you, right? Um, you know, whatever the situation is, I'm not saying this is all about someone who's drinking. Okay. I think it's more about the Princess of Wands, to be honest. Um, anyway, let's keep going. So, with the hangman... Hangman is also touching the Seven of Cups over here. So, affecting a decision of mine, right? Not going forward with a decision. I think the right people will find this reading. I may just title with that, I don't know. Like, the right people will find this reading. We have the Emperor, potential Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know, it's weird because I wasn't really going to give signs out. Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles. 
and then we have the hieroglyphs. And remember, I'm clarifying down. I don't know why I keep going back up with it. So let's look at this. So we have the emperor now who comes out over the seven of pentacles attached to the hangman. The decision that no wait not trying to get I'm trying to get all the wisdom I can right. If the emperor is right next to it, the emperor stands for the wise one, of course. Um, the emperor is the leader. Um, the emperor leads the people. You know, that type of energy. You know, we're looking at him in the upright. You know, for some of you, we have the energy of death above that. You know, this could be talking about your loved ones trying to, trying to reach you right to reach you to help you see because you had judgment again yeah that's probably some of it maybe it's your father maybe it's your grandfather you know maybe you know the emperor it's anyone who led you know anyone like sometimes you'll be like you know i grew up here but i tell you it was really grandma who taught me everything i knew or um, raise me or what have you many times you hear many times there's stories of that so um, remember that like don't think it's always like the mother or father anyway I feel like with judgment here this is talking about um, that and no wonder I feel in the sevens there's a lot of spiritual help here for you um, I feel like this is someone who Coming of the Seven of Pentacles, by the way, um, I feel like this is someone who the Princess of Wands looks up to in some way. I feel like the main job here is to remind this Princess of Wands that she can create Right, she's over the chariot, right? And she's receiving this information that she can create any type of world she chooses. But I feel like it's mainly like, you know, you got to start believing, right? And the, and the Princess of Wands, intuitively, she would she'd be feeling this, right? She'd be feeling it, right? You got judgment right above her. These epiphanies coming in, these urges, uh, these signs, like, she's someone who, she pays attention to them, right? Understands them, right? Gives and receives, receives, opens myself up to receiving, right? Over the chariot energy. That's balance. That's spiritual balance also, right? This is also, uh, you know, I know I'm going in different directions, but that's the way it's coming in. Anyway, I do feel like I have, like, um, that type of energy that is helping helping to, to direct this person over here. Now, I'm saying the Princess of Wands. I'm just talking about her energy. It doesn't have to be a fire sign. It doesn't have to be a female. You don't have to be 20 years old. You might be... 60 years old, you know, whatever it is, it's the energy, feeling the energy, right? Why though? Why? Because you have to be opening yourself up here. First of all, she's out of her head. Let's look at that. Like judgment comes out, comes here. It's like our ancestors saying, you're in your head too much. Cut it out. Like, you know, you're in your head too much. Cut it out. There is so much, so much to look forward to. So, you know, so many experiences to be, to be had. Um, some of you, you know, they're coming out and they're saying, listen, you've given enough time here doing this. Um, maybe some of you trying to change someone that you just can't, right? Judgment saying, uh -uh. it's time to learn to receive right to learn to receive I feel, um, and I'm getting the image of like opening my chest up right and all of a sudden it's like and an energy comes through it okay but there's someone around me who um, just is not 
right? It's just not, right? We're not in the same place. And, uh, you know, I feel like saying we can't make each other be in the same place, right? When we're in the same place, we're in the same place. We're not, we're different people, right? We're different souls. So one came, maybe, maybe one came to have that experience. And here we are trying to change it, trying to change it, trying to change it. It's not up, up, up to us to change it, right? Or we can't. Anyway, I feel like you're getting a lot of wise wisdom. It's funny the hangman's now. Now I'm looking into hangman next to the emperor, and I kind of, I kind of love it. And I'll tell you why I love it. Because this hangman is really absorbing. He's absorbing um, a lot of information at this time. Very centered, right? Very. This hangman is centered. Matter of fact, he's centered. He's centered in the spread. This is another answer, right? Gaining this wisdom, listening to these signs, feeling what you're, you know, feeling your intuition. Like if it's saying simply, like if it's saying, turn that TV off, then turn the TV off. Go put your radio on. Put, put music on it makes you dance, right? Um, again, it's almost, almost like I'm going back and saying, stay informed. No doubt, stay informed. But don't stay informed 24-7 because uh, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't help to, for, if we're all throwing fear out there. Anyway, anyway, why am I going there? Maybe my dad's saying that to me. But that's not really what I'm doing. Anyway. So, I just want you to know that. I love that that hangman is, is gaining this information. Um, listen, maybe for some who are having a drinking problem, maybe it's even in their father, you know, part of what their father is doing. Uh, maybe it will help them. But I feel like these are, these are separate, right? Separate things. Right, if you both end up on the same vibration again, maybe you'll be together again, right? It's not about let's try it again, but you stay right where you're at and I'll stay right where I'm at. What difference will it make, right? It's it's me being me, the princess of wands. It's my intuition. My intuition is telling me this. How do I know? Because I know my ancestors walk with me. That's how I know, right? I'm starting to feel that. I'm starting to get the epiphanies from above, and I'm taking them on. I almost feel like, again, someone saying, this, you know, will you ever have the energy? Let's, let's say the Ten of Pentacles right now. Will you ever have that energy again? Of course you will. It's, it's the energy of abundance. Um, it's the energy of roots. For some of you, it's showing this person connected directly to, you know, what I think of, I think of older, when I think of Ten of Pentacles. Um, you know, so, look at the Hierophant is looking right at the Ten of Pentacles. There's a lot of wisdom here. Maybe... Maybe someone's fighting you. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm looking at seven of wands. Like maybe someone's fighting you over the estate, over, you know, a father, a grandfather, that type of thing. Um, you know, and I feel like that's just a, a little thing there. Not, I know not for you. All I can say to that is I feel like the truth will be the truth. Um, and that's all I can really say to that. It's a belief. It's not just a belief. Like, if you, you know, the truth. The truth will be the truth. Okay, anyway. So. Again, I'm going up. Let me go. Seven of Pentacles, well, you know, I do want to go below again because I think there's more to it. 
Mega Dot. We have Ten Swords. So we now we have above this queen. I'm sorry, this princess. Again, male, female doesn't doesn't matter. The energy of the head behind it. Remember that the nine and the ten of swords, right? And I do feel like for a lot wanting to make a decision based out of that not making a decision properly. Anyway, you still have the Ten of Swords here. Coming over the chariot. But what I'm noticing here it's almost like it's almost like it has no effect on you. Because I feel like within this Ten of Swords, I don't know why I don't like this Ten of Swords because they because what I feel here is like who's ever doing this screaming. Um, I feel like it's being unheard anymore. Like anymore, it's coming back to that. Maybe it's it's the karma that is going to be created later on. But again, I feel like it has no effect of this print over this Princess of Wands. Hmm. Interesting. You know, I could throw out there that if we want to look at it that this person probably grew up with parents or whoever, you know, raised them, could be in foster, um, around a lot of screaming, around a lot of fighting. If I wanted to go that direction, right? If I wanted to say that, you know, if we want to look at both perspective, perspectives, that doesn't make it right. It means that, you know, it's my job to realize that and then to heal that. You know, even if it takes therapy, like, you know, I can say, oh, what was me? It happened to me, you know, my, it happened when I was a little. Okay, but once you know that, then you need to look at it. And if, if you're, if you're spiritual, you'll understand that there is something in that, that in one way or another probably has helped you in life. Um, something you're like, damn, you know, that as a teenager you hated and you found like in your 40s, like, thank God, you know, thank God this was instilled in me or, you know, but I'm, but I'm thinking across the board here. Okay, let's keep going. Look at that. We have the will and fortune. Now we have the will and fortune in reverse over this king of swords. So can I say that I feel like this person will be going away? I feel like this person is creating their own karma. I don't mean that to sound like ha ha ha. I mean literally, you know, karma is 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 about our future. Um what our future will be like depending on the actions we take today, right? That's just karma. So, I definitely see with that, I see the wheel. It's almost like the wheel's not turning. It's not turning. Okay, well, well, what are you going to do? We have the Seven of Cups. Look at this. We have Seven of Cups coming over under the Seven of Pentacles. We have the High Priestess coming over the Ace of Swords. I feel like, well, let's see what else we have here. But look at this. Now they're in reverse. So I have six of cups in reverse. I feel like I got to take them down here. I have the two of pentacles in reverse. And I have the three of pentacles upright. All right. First of all, I want to say I know what one of the stories is. One of the stories is... You know, I've been doing something that I've been, um, you know, maybe someone is treating me like shit. I don't know. But I've been in it for a while. 
and um, you know, whatever the excess worry is, maybe it's about how I get out of it, how I become the prince, the page of swords. It's saying you're not becoming it. You already are it. It's bringing it out, of, you know, bringing it out in you. You know, it, the princess of wands, you already have the princess of wands. It's about bringing it out in you. Um, but anyway, I feel like, you know, I'm going to be honest. I feel like for someone, you're stuck in a situation, we'll say, that you've been in for a while. Um, and it may be hard. It may be like, just about as hard as hard can be but I want to say with that I feel like it, you know maybe you in particular you have someone you can ancestors you know you have you have a lot of guidance spiritual guidance around you these sevens that I saw in the beginning they were pointed out to, out to me for a reason okay um, so this is like the guidance that I needed right which Where's it going to hit me? It's going to hit me in my gut. It's going to hit me in my heart, my intuition. You're right. That you know, it's hard to fight that when you're when you're coming when you're coming strong from your intuition. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. So you know, you see truth like that. You really do. You you're kind of a changed person if you allow yourself to live in that energy because. You don't really care. Like, there's no way you would get, you would stay in that nine or ten of swords that long if you brought this queen of this. I'm sorry, this page of wands out um, sooner. That had to be up to you. You know what I mean? It like it it has to be up to us when. But you know you're getting you're getting the epiphanies um, maybe before you weren't believing them. Why? Maybe you are doing something that is, I want to say, in a way, influence, influencing you where you, you, you know, you don't have a clear mind, something that makes you feel better. Okay, um, there's no judgment. It's just saying that your mind can't be clear. And because of that, you're not receiving, you know, you're not receiving. And by the way, we're always receiving. It's are we open or are we closed? We're like the antenna, you know, like uh, I'm thinking of our old radios where you used to try to find the dials like, and you know, W, D, V, E, and you had to get it perfect. Almost like that, right? So you can't really, I don't know. I guess you can't be under the influence. Well, I don't know. Whatever it meant. Okay. Anyway, so I feel like one of the reasons, um, so I stay in the situation much longer than maybe I want to. And for whatever the reason, it's saying it's in the head. It's so that can be fear. You know, that can be you thinking that um, this is all there is, it, you know, it's just the way my life is going to be, whatever it is, um, whatever it is, you know, maybe, I don't know, I think there's maybe a million different ways, I feel like it's saying keep your belief strong, um, right, be like the queen of wands, she doesn't hold grudges, She's someone who also would say, like, you know, listen, I'm starting to get that this this is your journey. Like, this is your cross to bear. And, um, yeah, you know, you'll either bear it and maybe, you know, that will automatically lift you, let's say, high, to the higher vibration. And I may be there. Who knows? But at this vibration... This Queen of Wands is like, okay, but I feel like it's, okay, anyway, we covered all that. Anyway, I also feel like um, there was staying with someone, even though, let's look, at, let's look over here for a second. We have the Wheel, and we have the Six of Cups. Both are reversed. We also have the King of Wands in reverse, but all above the Six 
of Swords. I feel like for some of you, it's a connection to someone of the past. And it may be, in in some way, maybe you, you know, I'm seeing the Six of Pentacles. And I'm wondering if, because I feel like you feel there's an attachment to someone else. And you're wondering, and this could also be talking about a job, by the way. So you're wondering, you, you've been wondering. This is probably why the hangman, again, is here, right? Wondering. I feel like you're probably not praying. Maybe you should pray. And I know I've been saying that a lot lately. But I do feel it's in reverse. So I want to say that, like, you know, <clears throat> like you're seeking the wisdom, right? You're looking for the signs. But make sure your belief is strong. And that means be strong within you. And I guess that means in all areas, you know, the best you can be. And just, I don't think, I don't think we're ever shooting for perfection. I feel like when we can say, you know what, I feel like it was probably the best I could be today. You know, maybe I could have been better, but man, I, I was pretty good today. I don't know. Sundays is going to be like, man, you know, thank God this day is over because I was pretty shitty. You know, it's the awareness of it. Anyway, here I go talking again. So I feel like with the lovers here, under the seven, or over the seven of pentacles, it's talking about feeling this connection to someone, right? But it's got the two of pentacles, again, reversed over it, right? Where I'm ready to make a decision. You know, it's, it's not the best time, this and that. Um... But it's telling me, it's telling me I can get through it because right beside it is the Three of Pentacles. Right? And what's this all talk about? Uniqueness. Three of Pentacles is all about you being your unique, your unique self, no matter what. Coming with the High Priestess, by the way. Hello. So, you know, I feel like you're saying no to this, um, this person that you have a connection to. I feel like you're saying no, and I feel like that's why we're seeing the wheel and the and the six of wands in reverse. And it may be at this point. And listen, this may be at what was, because now I have the queen of wands. But I want to remember that again. I have the queen of wands. She's receiving this information, and this ten of wands, which again is also above her, which had a lot of effect seems to have zero effect at this point. It feels like, hello, you're creating your own karma. I am sorry, but I got the chariot here and I'm going, right? I'm going. Again, feeling maybe a little sorry, um, whatever the reason. But the main reason I feel like is maybe she feels there, she or he feels there is an opportunity with someone that they feel a true, let's say, a love connection. Because there couldn't be a lot of love here. Not any longer. It feels like ice. Here, it feels like summertime. Right? It kind of feels like summertime. But I'm saying no to it. I'm saying no to it. But over here, I have the Three of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. We go right back to our intuition. Right back to it. And I feel like the, the High Priestess is asking you the question, um, but, but at the same time giving you the go-ahead, right? Because let's not forget, we're over the Ace of Swords here, which is the truth, right? Um, but again, i got to remember that Queen of Wands, she won't hold on to regret. Anyway, this is a reminder of, you know, almost like your higher self saying, you know, go into this, going, go into it, right? A three, it's the beginning. So, be your your unique self right from the get go, right? Right from the get go, be who you are. And um, and I feel like it's almost it's talking about your intuition. Maybe it's talking about your spirituality. Uh, maybe it's talking about what you have learned, right? The truth. You have the Hierophant right, right above that. Right? But it's next to the Lovers and the Seven of Pentacles. Let's not forget that. It's almost that feeling of meant 
to be, right? But I am saying no to it. It's funny, my right ear just completely closed, um, but it reopened. Completely closed off. Anyway. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to leave it there because I feel like I've covered it at all. I can't make decisions for you. You have to. And that's what this is all about. Like, you have to, right? Just like Who's ever in this icy, icy, like they're being this way, they're creating their own karma. There's not much you can do about it. So, I don't know. Right? By the way, this is to help take your mind off of the coronavirus, just to give you, I don't know, did it give you much joy? Probably not. Um, but it may give you a different perspective, maybe. It may be, um, maybe that's what was needed right now, I don't know. We're going to do an oracle card, too. We're going to do a Mother Mary. Oh, I don't know why I don't move them closer to me, which is ridiculous. Seven of, seven of Pentacles, man. It's like, come on, you have some seeds that have been nurtured. Seven of Cups here in the beginning felt like the water coming down to nurturing. They're coming due, right? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I, I seem to be getting a lot of readings about that, though. We're in, what, Aries energy. Go, 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 go. Right? Plant, 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 plant. Maybe it's planting new seeds. Maybe that's exactly what it is, right? Let each and every one plant their own seeds. But plant your seeds. Don't forget about you. I, I have a feeling that's who the Princess of Wands is like. I'm um, maybe starting a new seed, but I'm planting a seed at the same time. Or I meant harvesting. Two. Trust. I know that God, in his infinite wisdom and love, is answering my, answering my prayers right now. And we have compassion. I see and feel other points of view with forgiveness and kindness. Um... How much time has this been? I don't want it to be real long. Oh my god, it's been over an hour. Okay. I don't think I need to read. I think you understand. I know that God, in his infinite wisdom and love, is answering my prayers right now. There's been a call um, within your reading for those of you who do pray, um, you know, to get back to it. Compassion. I feel and see others' point of view with forgiveness and kindness. I do feel like the world is calling for us to um, try not to be in fear. Try to be, you know, and it, again, of course it's about love. It's always about love, but it's also about action, I feel. Because, you know, we're, we were, we're really looking at the prince, princess of wands. She's about action. Um, and she's someone who would take a chance, right? You know, um... The queen could have too much wisdom where she'd be like, uh, where the princess would be like, you know, I'm going to give it a shot. You know, um, I don't know what that means. But, you know, again, I really don't know what that means. Um, I certainly don't want to send anyone into harm's way. I, so, um, I don't know, but I love you guys. So, this is just open. Oh, dang it. Remember I said I had your rear title? I forgot it. I hope it comes back to me. I love you guys. Um, thanks for listening. 
All the information is below, by the way, if you want a private reading. Um, if you want to donate, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for the likes up. Thank you for the subscribes. Thank you for the, the beautiful comments lately. Uh, especially in the last couple ones I've put out. Wow. Wow. Um, and helping each other and exchanging emails for those who are alone. Um, giving you someone to talk to, you're going to find you, that you're connected. I mean, you know, I have a feeling people are going to start finding lifelong friends. And, um, good. Good. So, um, thank you for that. Thank you for allowing us to witness it. Um, and that takes you being your, your what? Your real, raw, authentic self. So, thank you. And um, just thank you for allowing the, the channel to continue. I love you guys. I'm going to let you go. Bye-bye.